we are taking exercise 4.3 chapter 4 and this is class 10 maths solutions rd sharma the questions in this exercise is uh, based on see everywhere it is being said that when we have the angle bisector see this is angle this is angle a b c and sides are AB, AC and BC. So when we have an angle bisector say of angle A. So this angle bisector, angle bisector means it is bisecting this angle. If this angle is say 60 degree, then this will be 30 degree and this will be 30 degree. So it is bisecting equally or dividing the angle equally. So when this line is on this opposite side, so now this side are divided proportionally that is BD by DC, this proportion will be equal to the angle or you can say the sides holding the angle that is AB and AC that is AB by AC. This is the whole crux of this exercise. If you understand this line or this uh, relationship, this exercise or this uh, discussion will be more understandable. And the converse is also true if uh, we have say any line, any line from any angle or any side on the other side and if this ratio say this is x this is y so x by y it is equal to say pq if it is equal to p by q and if these ratios are same that means this line is actually dividing this angle a this is the converse of the first one so all the questions are based on this let us take one by one in this uh, this the AB and AC side are given. 2.5 AD is the angle bisector of angle A. BD is given as 2.5. This is not known. So, let us make it as DC. So, let us take the ratio 5 by 4.2 is equal to 2.5 by DC. So, I am doing it for the first one but rest will just go through because everything is based on the same, uh, same uh, discussion we had. DC is 4.2 into 2.5 by 5. So, 4.2 into 2.5 by 5 is actually 2.1 centimeter. So, DC is 2.1 centimeter. In next one, in the next one, this is 5. This is not known. So, let us write it as AC. This is 2. This is 3. So, 5 by AC will be equal to 2 by 3. 5 by AC will be equal to 2 by 3. That is BD by DC will be equal to AB by AC. And this will be equal to 5 into 3 by 2, which is equal to 7.5. In the next one, we have this is 3.5. This is 4.2. This is 2.8. This is not known. BD. So, 3.5 by 4.2 will be equal to BD by 2.8 and BD can be computed by 2.8 into 3.5 by 4.2 which is equal to 2.33. Because we know that the inter internal bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side. This is the opposite side. Uh, internally, this is the internally in the ratio of the sides. These are the sides containing the angle. Again, we have this as 10. This is 14. Now, this whole is 6. So, how to do this? If we assume this suit to be x, what this will be? 6 minus x. So now 10 by 14 will be equal to x by 6 minus x. So x by 6 minus x will be equal to 10 by 14. x into 14, this is 14x. And 10 into 6 minus x, so 60 minus 6x. Uh, 10x, sorry. So for x will be 2.5. Now once this x is 2.5, this 6 minus x will be 6 minus 2.5, that is 3.5. Next is this is 4.2, this is 6, this is 10. So again 10 minus 6, this is 4. So now AB by 4.2 will be equal to 4 by 6. And this uh, ratio also you have to understand. When we take this, this side by this side, that means we have to take this first and this first. If you take this side, AC first and AB then you have to take this side first and this second. Means AC by AC by AB will be equal to CD by db. So now this is a 4, this is 4, this is 6, this is 4.2. So 4.2, uh, this 4 by 6, 4 by 6 will be equal to this side which is ab by 4.2 and this is 4 into 4.2 by 6 which is 2.8. Same thing, we have 5.6 by 6 equal to bd by 3. So you get bd equal to 2.8, 5.6 into 3 by 2. But we have to find whole bc. So, if this is 2.8 and this is 3, you get 3 plus 2.8 as 
Next here you have this is 5.6. AC is not known. AC will find this hole is 6. This is 3.2. So, this will be equal to 6 minus 3.2 which is equal to uh, 6, 2.8. So now you have 5.6 by AC equal to 3.2 by 2.8 and you get 5.6 into 2.8 by 3.2 which is 4.9. Next in this again same thing which we have done in the earlier question this is 12 so let us take it as x this will be 12 minus x. This is 10 this is 6. So 10 by 6 will be equal to x by 12 minus x and you get x equal to 7.5 and once you find 7.5 you can always find 12 minus 7.5 that is 4.5. So, BD is 7.5, DC is 4.5. In this, A is the bisector of exterior angle CAD. Now, this is the exterior bisector, means this angle is equal to this angle. Meeting BC produced, now BC is being produced and this line in external bisector meet at E. If AB is given as 10 and AC is given as 6 and BC is given as 12, we have to find this CE. So, when this is uh, an external angle being divided, then we have a ratio which is this BE by CE will be equal to 10 by this is AB by AC 10 by 6. So, BE by CE equal to AB by AC. See, we talked about the interior bisector, but when the external bisector is there, this is an external bisector, this is a triangle. We talked about this angle, but when we are extending it and we are dividing this, so there is a, the rule will be somewhat changed that when this exterior angle is, uh, the external bisector of a angle of a triangle divides the opposite side externally, this is the opposite side, which is this one, but this, this opposite side is externally divided. So, we have to extend BC so that we can get BE. So, this BE by CE now it is being divided externally so we have to take we, we cannot take just this BC and CE we have to take BE as a whole and then CE so BC BE by CE will be equal to 10 by 6 and this two will remain same 10 and 6 will remain same as in the previous previous uh, internal bisector but now here BC and CE will not CE will not be there it will it has to be BE first then CE so now we have 12 plus x by x if this is 12 and this is x let us assume it to be x this is 12, this whole will be 12 plus x. So, 12 plus x is BE, C is x we assume to be and AB is 10 and 6 we find x equal to 18 centimeter. In this triangle, it is that AB, this AB by AC is equal to BD by DC. Now, this angle is given as 70, this angle is given as 50, we have to find this angle. So, first of all, let us uh, use the rule. Rule says angle 1 is equal to angle 2. If a line through one vertex of a triangle divide the opposite side in the ratio, the, this ratio of these two sides will be equal to the these two sides. So, that means if the ratio is given, means if the ratio are same, so this 1 and 2 has to be equal, angle 1 has to be equal to angle 2. Because the ratio is given, BD by DC equal to AB by AC is given in the question. That means 1 and a ha 2 has to be equal. Now, we know that the sum of interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So, this 70 plus 50 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 180 degree. So, 70 plus 50 plus, uh, let us take it as angle A now, is 180 degree. So, angle A will be equal to 60 degree. Angle A is what? 1 plus 2 plus uh, is equal to 120, 180 minus 20 that is 60. But 1 and 2 are similar, they are a equal, not similar, equal. So, let us write it as say, angle 1 and 2 as angle 1. This is 2 into angle 1 equal to 60 degrees. So, angle 1 will be equal to 60 by 2 that is 30. So, angle 1 is 30, so angle 2 has to be 30. So, this is 30, this is 30. This whole angle will be equal to 60 degree. Now, this is the converse of what we have seen. Means we have, we are given these sides A D A A B A C B D and D C, and if these sides are given, we will take the ratio this by this equal to this by this. If these are equal, then we say this A D is the angle bisector. Otherwise, not. So let us take one by one. First, let us take this one. Five by ten equal to one point five by three point five. Five by ten is one by two, and 
this 1.5 by 3.5 is 3 by 7 and they are not equal that is in this case in the first case ad is not the angle bisector of this angle a let us go to the second one again we will take the ratio that is ab by ac this is equal to 4 by 6 this is 1.6 by 2.4 which is which, which is essentially equal to 2 by 3 only and when they are proportional and they are equal that means ad is the angle bisector of angle a in this case third case ab is given as see ab is given as 8 ac is given as 24 BD is given as 6 and BC is given as 24. So, 24 minus 6 is what? 18. So, this DC is 18. So, 8 by 24, let us find out what it will be. It will be 8, 3 is a 25. It will, it will be 1 by 3. And 6 by 18, let us find out. 6 by 18 is 6, 3 is 18, 1 by 3. In the both, both the cases, it is 1 by 3. So, they are proportional. So, in this case, yes, AD is the angle bisector of angle A. Here, let us see. We have AB and AC and BD and CD. Everything is given. 6 by 8 is 3 by 4, 1.5 by 2 is 3.4, 3 by 4. So, it is proportional. Last case, 5 by 12 and 2.5 by 9, you see, you see 5 by 12 and 2.5 by 9 is 5 by 18. They two are, are not equal and they are not equal, AD is not the bisector of angle A. In this, if AD is bisecting angle A, that is angle 1 is equal to angle 2, AC is given as 20, BD is given as 5. We have to determine CD. This is 12, this is 20, this is 5, we have to find this. So, it is bisecting. So, we have simple calculation 12 by 20 equal to 5 by DC or CD. So, this can be found out by 5 into 20 by 12 which is equal to 8.33. In this angle 1 is angle equal to 2, we have to prove that AB by AC equal to BD by DC. So, the, you know, what we have seen angle 1 is angle 2 is equal, that means this is the inter bi internal bisector. Internal bisector when it uh, divides the opposite side into two parts. These two parts in the, is, are in the same ratio as the sides holding the angle. So, AB by AC equal to BD by DC. This is what is the, the scenario. But uh, there is one more explanation to this. See, if you triangle like this. Then to prove this, there is a, another way. I am just giving you a hint. I am not going to solve it. We extend this. We extend this such, such that we make a line which is parallel to this line BDC A let us say it is uh, E. So, when we make a line which we have extended this and we join E and E and uh, C such that this is C. We join E and C such that this is parallel to AD. Now, we know by the, uh, if this AD is parallel to EC, we know this BD by DC will be equal to AB by AE, AB by AE. But in this, this angle is equal to this angle because these two lines are parallel. This angle is equal to this angle corresponding, this angle is equal to this angle corresponding. So, we essentially, what do, what do we get here? This angle is equal to this angle. So, when you get these two angles are equal, A is equal to AC. So, in place of uh, A, so I, I wrote AB by AE. So, A. so, what we got AE equal to AC by construction and by the uh, parallel rule, if I make a triangle here, if I say I am making a line here, I am just trying to make that this line is equal to this line because of the construction. This angle is equal to this angle and this are alternate angles, right. So, when we say AE is equal to AC, we can write in place of AC, AE, we can write AC. So, this is AC. This is what is proved. AB by AC equal to BD by DC. This is also one way to prove. Now, DE are the points on side BC. Let me show the diagram first, then you understand. This D and E and F, D are, these are the points on side BC and AC or CA and AB such that this AD bisect this angle. So, if you take this as x uh, say 2x angle, it is dividing it into x and x. The whole angle is 2x. So, it is dividing x and x. And this angle if you take as 2y, it is dividing this, this line is dividing or this is the angle bisector yy and this is 
dividing angle C as Z Z two Z if we take as a whole angle. Now the sides are also given. So we will take one by one, and we we'll, we have to find out uh, A F C E and B D. So what we will do here is just try to understand that we are taking first this line means this one A D. This is X. This is X. This is B and this is C. So when this is this line is internally dividing this angle, that means BD by DC will be equal to AB by AC. But see, here we have to find out BD. AB AC are given. This is AB is five. This is four. This is known. How about BD by DC? This DC, if uh, because we have to find out. BD. So we will try to write DC in terms of BD. How? This is BD. Okay. This BD. So BD is BD, and let us take this. This is BD, and this is DC. So DC will be what? Six minus BD. We are not using X, Y, Z because you know we have already used it. So this will be six minus BD. So this BD by DC can be wrote uh, written as. Six minus BD, and this is five by four. So this is what is given. Multiply this, multiply this. BD can be found as forty by nine. So in the same way, we will try to find out the others also. When we take this line, then CE by AC will be equal to BC by AB. This is eight. This is five. So five by eight will be equal to this AE by EC. But we have to find EC or CE. So we'll write uh, EC. When A E in terms of E C, so what will be A E four minus E C? So we are writing four minus C E or E C in, in the place of A E. Now multiply these two, you get C E as thirty two by thirty. In the same way, we will write in the next one. This is B C. We are talking about this angle now. So B C by C A is equal to B F by A F, but we have to find A F. So B F can be written as five minus A F. Five minus AF, but just multiply this, you get AF as uh, this five by three. So this this is how we solve it. So this is uh, the exercise basically meant for the angle bisector, e either internally or externally. If it is internal, that it divides the opposite sides where it uh, say intersect in the same ratio as the sides, as the two sides holding that angle. An external bisector.